In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite new changes to Fusion 6.1, which is the introduction of mesh regions to the particle system. As you can see, over here I have a particle system, which is just a single emitter, shooting out a line of particles with a little bit of velocity. And what I want to do is I want to have those particles use this mesh as a bounce region. So I'm going to insert my p-bounce, and I'm going to change its region to mesh. I will tell it to use the volume, and I will take the output of this merge, connect it to the mesh region input, and now if we hit play, you can see our particles come shooting out the other end of the mesh, and that's of course because inside the mesh, they're bouncing. Additionally, you'll notice that I've, not done, I've got more than just one piece of geometry in the scene. I have the image plane as well as the torus, and so the image plane is also bouncing the particles. And so you can see it's not just a piece of geometry, but as many pieces of geometry as are present in the scene. Additionally, uh, because we can use uh, the mesh as a region, we can use it on any tool, not just a bounce. So we have an emitter, for example. I go to region, and I set it to mesh, and I connect the output of my FBX mesh, and well, I'll view the particle system. Now, to begin with, we've only been having birth to a few particles, so uh, I'm going to change that to, let's do 500,000. And we get particles being born all along the surface of our car. And if I go to region and change that to volume, then those particles will be born anywhere within the volume of our mesh. So I'm sure that you can think of a few ways in which this could become useful to you as a compositor. And that's just a couple of the changes that have taken place in the particle system in Fusion 6.1. Also coming up will be the ability to cache your particle solution to disk.